Schools are often the center of a neighborhood. In Crystal, there has been a school in the 3900 block of Adair Avenue North for more than 100 years. Now it's the Fair School Crystal. As Shannon Flatten reports in today's school spotlight, the school draws students from all over the Robbinsdale School District. Picasso said every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain one once he grows up. Picasso obviously didn't know about the Fair School Crystal, where art is not only a part of the name, but integrated into every facet of a student's education. I'm really involved in band, choir, and theater, and I've been involved in two of the shows here. Well, I started liking acting in fourth grade because my, they did my favorite movie, so I was like, I gotta be in this. Students at Fair School Crystal come from the seven suburbs served by Robbinsdale area schools and they will be exposed to more arts here than at a traditional middle school. Arts are a huge part of it, it's who we are. You know, we want to look at nurturing not just the academics, which is a given in, in most schools, but it's nurturing the whole child. Like this exploratory dance class that will cover hip hop, ballet, and everything in between. It's my job to teach them sort of choreography and moves, learning how to be on beat, learn rhythm, do something that somebody else is teaching you, but I also like to see what they can do. Staff members get students to shine in unique and creative ways. It's not just about teaching a concept, but encouraging self-expression. Not just to have that teacher that's the sage on the stage, but more of a guide on the side. Often the school relies on partnerships with All professional right. artists to bring the rigor and caliber of the art Audience, to the classroom. Yeah. Theater teacher Ray Zabrashi works for Stages Theater Company, which is a big partner with the school. Help them make connections with how this could be used not only in a theater classroom, but also in the world, because that's what theater helped me do. In the classroom, art is woven into academics in two ways. Allison Thielen is the arts integration coordinator. So each grade level has a specific residency. We bring in community artists, and the focus is different depending on the grade level. So fourth grade does a program called Elders Wisdom Children's Song. We interview elders in the community, and then kids write a song with uh, a local composer and perform it. Fifth grade works with stages theater and a photographer. Sixth is puppetry and a professional storyteller. 7th is photography, and 8th tackles spoken word. So depending on the grade level, kids get to kind of experience the arts integrated into their classes in a really unique way. Then in everyday classroom learning, teachers apply what they call visual thinking strategies. A series of questions we ask to um, elicit responses to visual art. So it's about visual literacy, it's about learning critical thinking skills. Critical thinking is at the heart of integrating arts into academics, not only in allowing students creativity to find new ways to learn, but in finding new ways to get answers. Those kind of 21st century skills are the things that, you know, we need kids to have. We need them to be problem solvers. We need them to be creative. We need them to be critical thinkers. And again, that crosses all content areas. We are the fair, school fair School Crystal students think outside the box. They bring creativity and passion to their learning in a way that sets them up for success. In Crystal, Shannon Slatten, CCX News. Fair School Crystal is currently working on a production of James and the Giant Peach.